Hello, Goranges are on view this time for our sale on the 12th of June. And we're starting down in the warehouse and it's the far warehouse, because if you've been, you'll know there's two warehouses and no one ever quite knows which one is in action on which day. But uh, we're in the far warehouse, down the far end. And this side of the warehouse, Paul, who does furniture, always says, it, it's never the best lot of furniture, but he thinks it's cursed to this side. So we're going to see if we can prove him wrong. What's in the sale? What's in the warehouse? Well, kicking off, quite a run of uh, reconstituted stone garden statues. If we haven't sated your desires for garden things in the previous week's sale, uh, we, we, we hope to do so now. Look, Gosh, there's a much. very, look at this chap, look at his face. It's great. It's very well modelled. <laughs> On who? He looks slightly grumpy, but number 18, <laughs> lot 18, Roman... Grumpy man, three graces there, showing as lot 19. Uh, lot 20, we've got Flora with a bunch of flowers, all representing summer. So, nice mixture here, there's a sort of Roman style bust. Uh, the headless one's not quite looking quite so... Um, Happy? Quite so desirable. <laughs> oh, the head's down there, poor thing. Well, at least it's there, we get the glue out, it'll be fine. There's a teddy. So, um, yes, teddy good little lot. Come from memory, come from property down in Saltling or Peacehaven, uh, somewhere along those lines sensible estimates so uh, very viable one would hope uh, okay so we're going to look for other things that we uh, think are interesting in this cell. safest wow well how about those those are striking now am i right to say that they're called cobra chairs paul told yes, me that they were cobra are, chairs you are because the um, frame swirls round doesn't even it? though we've got lot, a zebra print <laughs> lot 67 lot 67 cobra, there we go similar. uh bird bath is that bird bath yes yes there's a bird bath yeah, nice. yeah more yeah. The, Dolls and all sorts of other things. Yes. Um, carrying down, there's a harmonium organ. I think the estimate is down to a tenner. <laughs> uh, really? There's, there's probably a bigger bet riding on it. If it doesn't sell, the uh, value we're concerned is going to have to cough up. So, a uh, couple of garden seats one. here. Yes. They're, they're very smart, aren't they? They are quite smart, aren't hmm. they? With their, their yeah, sort of Burberry, Burberry print. Burberry print. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm carrying on down. Still uh, struggling a little. Paul is winning so far on um, his theory. Uh, we've got some more planter-style teak chairs there. Uh, mid-century catches my eye. Here's a mid-century dining suite with a file on top that says insurance that has nothing within the, it. Um, the chairs are a good shape, aren't they? Uh, yeah, uh, exactly. Quite, the, yeah. yeah, the chairs it's are quite a good of shape. Um, 1975 stamped for the underside. I quite um, like those. Yeah, with, a, with an extending dining table in teak. Right. Um, it's not going to be huge money. London Rifle Brigade. There we go. Nice sort of regimental piece there. Mm. Fast green. Yeah, that doesn't take you at all, but it's one for the military <laughs> people. Yes. Hall chairs, late Victorian. Nice big pair of wall lights there. Look at those. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. not selling it to the yet. I'm no. Keep going. Uh, there's, oh, here's something closer to your heart. There's uh, one of those wine racks over there. Oh, yes, that's quite We can stick the bottles useful. in, lot 161. Yeah. Oh, look, there's a crocodile. And to the right of it, a very smart dwarf bookcase in rosewood. That's very pretty, isn't it? Break front. Nice size. A usable size. piece. Um, some might put brass grills in the doors to make it even more okay. decorative and jazzy. These are very little, go. aren't they, these chairs? Yes, they are relatively they are little. three sort of, yeah. Lot 109, okay. little tub chairs, again, would have been... We're quite popular and, back and the metal spronky thing, what's a that? metal spronky thing. Is that for pots? It's for spronking, yes. Lot, lot 110. Yeah, what is it? Galvanised metal. It's okay. a stand. Ah, uh, you don't know. No. That's, that makes a change. No, there we go. Chest of drawers, here we go. One, two, three, whatever size you want. We've got it, apparently. Uh, rattan chairs. Korean or Chinese cabinets. Sofa. Uh, sofa with drop end. So you oh, can okay. drop this end down and stretch your legs out. Right. Lot 118. Yes. Uh, Mid-century chests. Need a bit of a buff up, but uh, that's Bam got 119. Bamboo look mirrors. And uh, bamboo mirrors. Lots of those in this cell. Yeah. So there we go. Um, a whiz round the, uh, the warehouse. And Not actually that bed. The bed looks that quite That huge nice. metal bed. Yeah. 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 And cow, it, cowboy and cowgirl. Yes, we had those before, didn't we? Funnily enough, people didn't desperately rush out to want them, but no. um, there'd be less money mm. this time. So, mm, there we go. Yes, well done, <laughs> Far we End of Warehouse. We'll stuff. go see what we can find. So, here we are. And kicking off the smalls is the Pam, or the remnants of, remaining collection of Pam Hebs, who was a very well-known teddy bear dealer. And I think she opened the first teddy bear specialist shop in London which was followed later by Sue Pearson in um, Brighton. Uh, and Sue still comes in and advises us and does some consultation for us. Anyway, the Pam's Hebs Bear Collection. 
And it's, it, yes, there are some teddy bears, but there's lots of sort of unusual bear related items and other sort of juvenilia, such as these um, molds for baking or making jellies or what have you. Um, that are lot 257. Um, and then little Diddy Bears, 263, look, all sorts of um, small bears of various ages and collectible status, no doubt. Uh, we've got some Stief soft toys in lot 252. A collection of hats. If you feel your bear is not correctly attired, then, um, yeah, I mean... Oh, sweet. Look at you know, that. You, can, you can upgrade your... Look at that. Oh, it's tempting now, isn't it? That's lot 254. Uh, some nice black forest bears here in lot 255. What I would say is quite a heavy lot. You know, normally we would split that down a bit more, but perhaps the bear collecting community don't rate black forest as much as the uh, black forest community. I mean, look at that. That's great, isn't it? Just it that is. on its own. It's great. Yeah. You can see that right there. It's great fun. Mm. So, yes, that's a good lot, 255. And then you've got uh, some... We've got a bit of sooty. Yes. Through the ages. Sooty collectors. Uh, Money box. Box there. Yeah. Uh, and then sort of bisque, more traditional early bears here. Um going back sort of 1900-ish and some novelty things such as this lot 300 you get this ring stand huh. um with uh this rather cool looking bear going with shopping, a i suppose with yes. a handbag bear with a handbag like in the do. same lot yes a spelter painted spelter watch holder bear a bear standing by the lamppost desk calendar and a smith's teddy bear clock very nice Great fun. Alongside it, lot 301, again, bear-related things. So that's a table lighter. He'd have a flame coming from his mouth. Oh, okay. Uh, we've got a pen brush for wiping your pen sitting on the desk. And he's an ice hockey or paddling bear, something like that. A uh, little bear box and bear pin cushion. Goodness all me. sorts of bear-related things. Yep. That's 301. And, and, and down below here. Three, yeah, down below here, um, yep, yeah, two uh, sets. Cups and sauces. And cups and sauces, yeah, 304. We've got sort of teddy bear's luggage, I suppose one might call it, uh, with these sort of miniature hampers and things. So there we go, a whole host of bear necessities, as they say. Um, then coming back down the main line, what else have we got here? How about some dolphin? There's uh, some royal dolphin pair of vases there. Good colour. Lot uh, 317. Look at the sleepy pig. Sitting, where's the sleepy pig? Oh, there, yeah, there's the sleepy pig. Lot 315 in brass. Yeah. I think brass rather than and bronze. And is this Lalique? No, this is not Lalique. This will be a, a sort of um, manner of Lalique. Right. So underneath it's stamped made in France. Uh -huh. I can't see, sometimes cast into it, there's a, a name, but it's, it's going to be, it's not Sabino, but it's somebody like that. One of the other factories, lot 316 in the manner of Lalique. Arts and crafts clock there. Oh, yes. Lot three one eight. Lift the latch. Rather fun. It's continental. I can tell that by looking at the way the movements put together. We've got some rather fancy cherub candelabra there. Lot three twenty. Real for the banjo vase. Some Chinese pierced uh, vases there. Lot three twenty two. Uh, more like lanterns, I suppose, because they say. haven't got bases. Yeah. Another bit of Lalique style. Here we are. This one, we've got France to one side, yes. and then over here, we have got a make on this, and it says, um, I'm reading it sort of inside out, uh, Laudier, it says. So, so would the um, base be an addition, or is that how it was? It was probably made that you could have varying versions of it, so it may be made that it could have been a light bowl, as well as being a bowl to take a mount and Colours are good on that. They are great. They've got yeah. that opalescence yes. well done. 701, there's a sweet little watercolour. <laughs> Victorian like girl with her doll. That's probably Aww. about 1840 or thereabouts, but early Victorian. <laughs> um, as ever, a whole host of differing paintings in the sale. Um, here's someone who's a reasonable name. Theophile Steinlin. Um, can make very big money, but these are just little pencil sketches with the stamp from the studio. Right. Um, you get the two sketches, the cats, he liked cats, and cats and a nude in the other one. Mm. Um, Retail by Sladmore Gallery. Um, no doubt had an exhibition. So that's lot 688. Uh, these are a bit unusual. How yeah. about some printed silk Maharajas? Ah. Around about 1900. Uh, one of them has a trace of a label 
telling you how they could be their decorative pictures that could be used for centres of cushions and similar articles around the home. Well, that's good to know. That's good to know what to do with these things because otherwise you might not. I just, I just saw not. this stick. Oh, he's great. Way. This Isn't is a whalebone stick, look, 355, oh. uh, with this very unusual handle. I mean, the, 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 the main stem is whalebone. Ah. Oh. Um, and then we've got this rather fab handle. Gosh, it's, it's beautiful. sort of almost too good to be true. But yeah, yeah. great fun that lot. Three fifty-five. Um, a ban is a coming, of course, for Scrimshaw now yes. and uh, for Marine Ivory. So we're not quite sure whether Wellbone's going to get hit by that one. Um, I'm looking at this far. Right, you're, you're looking, looking at, at this glass. Yep. But um, this vase. Well, that's you're, you're focusing it, in on Dalton again. This is Dalton, isn't yep. it? Yep. So yep. underneath, my Royal Dalton, love of Dalton. Mark, you like Dalton now. I do. You like the early stoneware Dalton. Yes. So 388. But you I didn't recognise it. You get that flagon. Yes. And with it, you get. Do you recognise that? Uh, you're pushing it now, isn't it? That's Susie Cooper. Is Susie Cooper the... Um, the she's things? a bit like Clarice Cliff, but she's not. She's right, Susie okay. Cooper. Okay. And then there's a Wedgwood yeah. cheese or cake dome there. I thought 388. You get three together. Right. Up above it, some Charles Horwood um, oils. Quite distinctive. These sort of like impressionistic that. beach scenes. They're yes. rather nice touch, aren't they? 695. There's a little one, 696. That's really nice. That's really nice. Uh, if you drift backwards, yes. there's 694 is also him. And then further on 691, there's a larger example. And they're nice frames as well. Come from they? a local property. So, bought... um, I, we haven't checked up on estimates, but what sort of money are we They're, they're not you? big money. They're probably around about sort of 150, 200 pounds or so each. They Very came nice. from a local property near Buxted. The lady's husband was in the city and he'd pop into Gladwell and Patterson's and buy Horwoods and, nice. and Chayous and that sort of thing, which, uh -huh. some of which are in the fine sale. Big pair of pastels here. This one is after Thomas Lawrence, thought to be Mrs. Siddons. Quite nice, nice very strong, well Hi. done. She's a bit more blousy and, and giving away that she's an Edwardian or late Victorian copy. Uh, this okay. one's after Romney, right. I think. I did some work on it, I think I got the right lady. Um, so this one feels much better quality somehow, although well, they're clearly a pair with matching frames. Again, not big money because they're pastels, but 685 mm. there. Um, then let's carry on poking about, seeing what's what. That reminds me of uh, a light that we had. Um, yes, yeah, so you're, going, you're, you're obsessed with French glass today, aren't you? I, this I is am. the Muller Frères, look, oh, says so. I think that's really nice. And that would hang. You just need to get the mount for it. There's a peacock, yes. I think. Ah. Something like that. Mm, yes, I, go. I do see it. And then behind it, a rather curious, look, 459, sort of French That's secessionist Art Nouveau. That's fun, isn't it? Treasure, treasure box. Yes. In pewter and brass. It's kind of whimsical, isn't it? Yes, it is, isn't mm. it? It's got a sort of... Yeah, a look. A look, and, and who's they this, say. Uh, who are you? Uh, well, I wasn't actually looking at him. No, Go on, you weren't looking at him. No, no he's I, Rabelais, it says I, so. I like Bambi. Oh, well, that's, yeah, okay, that's a big old lump, isn't it? Let's yeah. have a look. It's lightweight for pottery. It, I just um, like the green. Yes, it, it's, it's sort unusual. of got the look of sort of a bit like Dartford pottery, but I can't see any mark upon it, but we may well have identified it. It's like mm. 463. Yeah. And it's big. Um, it is big. Big-ish. Anyway. As, as is the uh, bottle of red there, the Bordeaux. Yes, that's the 465. Mm. Uh, the main, the Bordeaux or something similar. I did see some better wines. I saw Emily sorting out some wines earlier they're scattered throughout how about a um crossbow oh look at that how smart is that terrifies me wow yeah there we go that it, it looks fairly uh, rudimentary but it, I, I get the feeling it might work cool. um Ouch. lot number 500 yes oh look there's some modern golf <laughs> modern golf yes Love. well this is the classic this is the this is lot 501 oh. and that's the, the, the classic uh, early golf club has yes. this long nose and you get the maker's stamps on top, often people like Forgan and the like. This one is hard to read. I-K-E dot dot dot. Um, it's leading as well and it's had an active life. It may be reduced in length as well. And then look at that, that's a bit diddy, isn't it? Sort of child size. Yes. So a curiosity lot of golf clubs there. Yeah, great fun. Lot 501. Um, then we talked about, I did mention wine. Um, Yes, we've got some Mouton Rothschilds down here. Look, 537, there's a 93 Mouton Rothschild. Mm, nice. Um, and a 95 Mouton Rothschild. So some, some, some better wines. And uh, uh, there's quite a clock there, isn't That's there? quite a clock set, quite a garniture. <gasps> yes. French, Art Deco, mm. four colour marble, three colour marble with the lion. Like the, the sort of Wembley ex exhibition 
lying in the way. Lot 513, yeah. sitting next to a Ted Baker handbag. Sums it all up, doesn't it? Everything's here at Gorringes sooner or later. There we go. So, yeah, a mixture of smalls. Let's have a quick look at the silver. You're making your face. Quick look at silver. I like these, actually. Yes. They're, they're good, just, they? they're because of their size. They? Yeah, it's very... They've got the French Seagull of Paris stamp. Um, and let me see if I can find the lot number. So this is way 480. There we are. Uh, two Paris child mannequins. Nice things. So behind the counter, uh, more of the teddy bears, but the sort of more unusual jobs. So these little, uh, I think people like Shuko made these, and sometimes the head lifts off and you get scent bottles and lighters and, and things. So that's a little sweetie there in red, lot 268. And as you can see under there, there's a whole mixture of the smaller, more desirable bears, including a teddy bear watch holder or bedside timepiece. That's a lot in silver. That's a lot 260. Teddy bear rattle. So yes, teddy bear rattles, bears galore, bear postcards, yes. all there, all the bears you could ever wish for. In the silver, if you don't wish for bears, how about an owl? One of these sort of late Victorian, I imagine, yes, late Victorian, it's a pepperette. A um, little bit battered, but yeah. smart little thing. It's locked 856. Saw some other nice silver under here. There was a curiosity. What was it? Here it is. Oh, yes, you should. This caught my eye. Lot 819. Can't quite work. This very sort of... It's quite it, rough, isn't it? it? It's rough. It looks quite modern, but the date for it is around about 1900. Mm. Um, London hallmarks with these kind of sort of strangely stylized enamel plaques and then the cabochons to the base. I like the bottom um, So a little bit cabochons. different. That. It's weighty as well. There's, yes. there's good... So um, you've got some ties down there. You've got some Hermes, are they? Oh, Hermes ties? Well, or just cool. ties? You, 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 you. 599, what do you get? You get Patek Philippe. That's unusual. Gosh, isn't it? To go with your watch. Right. Um, you get Hermes in yellow. Mm. Um, you're making your mm noise. Well, um, more Hermes, Armani. So a mixture of, uh, that's the Patek one that I picked up the first time round. They feel like mostly they're silk. Uh, I think um, that was Christian Dior, that one. That was Christian Dior, was it? That's, that's Hermes again. again. Hermes so again. there we go, yeah, a lot mm. of ties. And then um, uh, there's a Harry Potter book, is that? Yes, that looks like special? a Harry Potter. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know, but uh, it's, there we are, the Prisoner of Azgazam. Um, please put behind counter, it says, so we think it's valuable, that one. We think ah. it's a good example. Okay. Up above it, a child's book from 100 years before. Well, not really for a child, I suppose. It's Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam, um, mm. which is always rather fun, though not one of the more glamorously illustrated examples, but still got some plates in it. Mm. That's 595. Nice. Uh, so there we go, a complete mixture. Jewelry as well, obviously. Have a look at that uh, on top. There's a good lot to, to, to go through. And uh, coming up soon, the fine sale. We look forward to sharing that with you. Thank you.